There's a great start here to the chess match. E4, E5, folks. And we're going to go with Queen, the Napoleon attack. Queen to F3. Queen to F3 here. Um, not a very great place for the Queen here. But you can work it out. You can make it work. You'd kind of rather have the Knight there, but you can work it out. Let's bring up the full screen mode here, though. Full screen mode, we have a 250 as white versus a 400 as black. So going to be very interesting here. These might be the lowest ratings we've seen all day. But a decent opening still, nonetheless, as the bishop comes out. That's good. We just have to follow it up with knight to e2, probably. And then that's going to be basically an opening. Even though you don't really want to have the queen necessarily on f3. It, it works. I think it's just more aggressive. Because you could, if they ever move this knight, then it's just like checkers, right? So you are putting up the aggression here. It's just if if black knows what they're doing, it's not the best, probably. I do believe. But I don't think black does because these are both about 300 rated players. So we could see anything happen here. Now the queen is under attack. Could see a queen just go next move. But but, you know, there it is. The queen moves to safety. Excellent. Excellent response from the 300. And h6 is just going to prevent anything from coming up to g5. Question the bishop here, decide where the bishop wants to go, and we're just going to take takes, looks like, trade it off. Hopefully we see a recapture, but you never know. And there it is, still an even game here, after move 9. And both players are now poised to castle, if we ever decide to go that route, but we could see other moves, see anything happen here. And we do go for to knight to d5, just getting aggressive here. That's what you'll see often players at these ratings will make knight moves into the middle instead of moving their other pieces, like a bishop here that hasn't gotten off the back line, or a castle to put your king in the safe spot. And now we uh, we have a takes, and hopefully we see the take with the bishop this time. Earlier earlier game, we saw the take with the pawn, uh, which kind of just weakens this bishop up. But here, if you take with the bishop, and now you have sight lines, now you have, you have sight lines here. The bishop actually has places to go things to do lines up with the king here so good there but now just a strong knight here on d4 because kind of gave that up yeah, yeah, but there you go that's the right move that's what i would probably go for here c3 to kick that knight away remove the d4 square from black's possession nice pretty good so far and we see a castle on move 14 not bad not a bad move there castle get the king to safety definitely a good move um only pieces we're probably going to need to see some more development here i do believe from white we'll see how they decide to go about it though a few options here i would my biggest advice to players at these ratings one thing that they don't do is move all of their pieces once before moving the other pieces again think about it we had a knight go from like here we had a knight go here to here and then, to, like, I don't know, we, we got, we traded off all these knights, traded off, you know, got a bishop up in here to the middle, made a bunch of pawn moves, but we still have pieces that haven't moved. We have, we could have just, you could have just done this, this, like, boom, it takes two moves, guys, two moves here. Get the bishop off the back line, bring the rook to somewhere more useful, either C or D, move the queen over to, like, here, so that it's on a good diagonal. You could even go here, so that it's on lined up like this but just like queen here or here bishop you know anywhere literally just go anywhere with the bishop it doesn't matter probably not there but and then you can bring the rook over imagine you put the queen here and then the rook here and then you're doubled up on the file with a smile or you could bring the rooks just bring both the rooks to the middle here and i don't know probably would have just brought this bishop all the way back you know because now now you're doing now you're moving it again so, just gave black a free move, basically. Free move. And the engine evaluation says equal here. It's making a bit of a jump up and down, though. We're going wacky and wild with the evaluations here today, folks, on the beginner showdown. The beginner battles. Hmm, anyone want to see some poker later? Lean to C7? Oh, good move there. Best move, according to the engine, I think. D5. E5. Pawn can't take, right? But you can't take here because of this. So, knight has to go back. There's the best move. And then I, I think it's like, if they do that, then we do this, right? Yeah. 
then the knight would be pinned to the queen and we're just adding attackers we can just add attackers to this pawn if or to the if the knight takes we just add attackers and they can't add defenders Dun, 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 dun. I believe just this, right? Yeah. Fork. Easy fork there, folks. And get the rook out of the way, but now you lose a knight. Down down a pawn up a piece. Plus two now for white. Engine says good evaluation. But still a lot of pieces on the board, so could go either way. And pretty much every move that white can make is a decent move here. Should be no problems, except for 45 seconds on the clock now versus three and a half minutes. Guys, three and a half minutes versus 40 seconds. Plus two is not very good if you're down on time like this. This is going to be interesting. Remember, 250 rating for white, 400 rating for black. So it's really, really could be anyone's game here. And then we have the bishop captures f7. Engine likes that. Engine does like that. But uh, this is danger, danger ranger. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful here. Can't mess up now. Oh my gosh. And it looks like we are messing up. Plus three now. Still plus three. And the queen does defend this square. But, but I, white is getting very nervous. I do believe white is sweating right now. 25 seconds on the clock down two minutes two, over two minutes uh no checkmates yet but i mean if black's gonna win they have their pieces where they need to be and white's down to 20 seconds here just good could go any way white could just uh choke under the time pressure here it's it's hard to figure out this how to finish this right now because you have to be worried about Getting checkmated, but probably easy now because you can just get the trade off. I do believe. I do believe a trade off is in order, but we're running out of time. Going down to five seconds here might just flag. Oh my gosh! Yep, there you go. Oh my gosh, that should be that should be easy. Black should not have let the queen trade happen. Oh my gosh! Now black's winning. Oh my gosh, it's over folks. Just Black's gonna win this. Now white down to 15 seconds and down material. Just And now we're gonna see a classic king and pawn where it's just so many pawns up here. Rip GG. Just a time thing there. Just a time scenario you know if they could play it out with with plenty of time there obviously white would probably win that but just a time scenario there i mean that's blitz i mean you lose I mean, when you lose because of time you lose the game you know but you'd have to give some credit there for playing the good moves early when they had the time to think about it hey steve peach see you later hey bobby love your youtube content thank you how was your day excellent Excellent. Thank you for asking. Welcome to the stream. Not over yet. True. Not over yet. Looking kind of over though. I, I don't know how black could lose at this point. But I didn't really I didn't really see white losing either. I mean kind of did with all the pieces and the time scenario. I did kind of call that out but but I don't know. Looks like we're just going to see a I mean we should really we should be seeing a trade off and then the pawn going down. Now the king can't even get here. So it's just, it's just done. So you just have to one, two, three, give them the one, two, three. Chat is split between YouTube and Twitch. Um, often YouTuber, often there's a little bit more activity on YouTube. Just most people watch me on YouTube, but Twitch is growing. Twitch is catching up, especially in poker. I do believe in poker that the Twitch chat is more active when I play poker. Which I might do later today if y'all are interested. I'm not sure yet though. Stalemate would be funny. We haven't seen one of those yet today. But it could happen here. We have a stalemate scenario. Possibly. No pieces on the board. 300 rated players. We have all the recipes for stalemates. But we do see the resignation instead. 